Today's COVID report is, um, it's, it's good news and, and bad news. More cases than we want, but a positivity rate has actually gone down um, uh, a good amount, one, one that I'm happy to see. Of course, it, it, it bounces given the, the seven-day average. But today we're reporting 726 new cases of COVID-19, which means this virus is still out there. It's still aggressively spreading. Um, and it means that uh, when you remove the duplicates, which we did from yesterday, 26, again, anybody who's concerned about the data, we go over it every single day uh, to make sure that we can improve it. Uh, our total cases are now 41,626. Uh, our positivity rate now down to 5.18%. Uh, that's good news. Here's the really hard news. We're announcing 14 new deaths today. We had 12 yesterday. We had 12 the day before. It's 38 deaths in just the last three days. We have to understand that this is not just real, but when we have, it, it takes lives from us. And when we have weeks, and we're gonna have another week, where we have almost 4,000 cases, it means even with a smaller mortality rate, even with us doing better, that we're gonna lose more Kentuckians. It's basic arithmetic. So let's make sure that we make the right decisions to keep our cases low. Let's make sure that we wear our mask and stay six feet apart. These 14 families are also gonna need your help. So keep those green lights going, ring your bells at 10 a.m. Now the 14 from today, um, include a, a 81 year old man from Fayette County, a 95 year old woman from Clay County, an 88 year old man from Fayette County, a 55 year old health care worker at a long term care facility from Graves County. I think this is Marion County's first death, a 57 year old man, a 65 year old health care worker, a woman from Pulaski County. We lost two of our frontline workers today. 84-year-old woman from Harlan, 96-year-old woman from Harlan, a 77-year-old woman from Hopkins, an 88-year-old female from Gallatin, a 76-year-old man from Warren, a 66-year-old man from Barron, an 89-year-old man from Jackson, and the family of the last individual asked us to, to, to not read out that, this information tonight, and I'm going to honor uh, that request. We have 638 Kentuckians in the hospital right now with COVID-19, 155 in the ICU and 108 on a ventilator. Please pray for them, just like you do the families uh, of those that we have lost. We've now done over 794,282 tests. That means we had about 9,100 tests uh, from yesterday to today. That increases that denominator. That's why uh, the positivity rate is down. We haven't done the, the racial breakdown of cases uh, in a couple days. So uh, of overall cases where race is known, 79.19% white, 12.52% black, 5.67% multiracial, just over 2% Asian. Um, on ethnicity, 87% non-Hispanic and 13% Hispanic. Uh, and then um, I don't believe that I have the death statistics here, but um, they will be posted on the website. They continue to show uh, disproportionate, disproportionate impact on, on uh, our black community. Uh, again, we have to be committed to changing that. And we're working on that right now here in Kentucky as we're trying to sign up every single Kentuckian for health care, but prioritizing those communities that are hit the hardest right now during COVID-19. That's how we save lives. That's why you set the priorities you set, and it's also the right thing to do. New cases by county. Jefferson, 164. Christian, 70. Fayette, 56. Warren, 45. Kenton, 34. Bullet, 15. Knox, 14. 13 in Davis and in Hardin. 12 in Marion, McCracken, Nelson, 11 in Boone, Graves, Hopkins, Madison, and 10 in Campbell. Today, of the 726 positives, 101 of them are in kids, 18 years and younger. A number of school-age kids in 
uh, school districts that uh, I believe are starting as early as this coming Monday, a 16-year-old in Barron County, an 18-year-old in Hardin County, and five school-age kids in Warren County. 14, 11, 9, 17, and 7. I certainly hope those contact tracers are working really hard right now and that we learn very uh, quickly uh, that these folks uh, were positive. Otherwise, it's going to present a heck of a challenge on Monday at a time uh, when this virus is uh, so hot and we are seeing uh, uh, the spread that we are seeing. On the good news, um, we are still seeing a lot of people willing to show up and be tested. And that's really important. It's really important because it gives us better data on decisions we make. But more than that, it helps us find out when somebody is asymptomatic so that they don't spread the virus further. But it also helps us find out when somebody is positive so we can watch over them. Because sometimes you don't have many symptoms, you just have a little, and then people get hit really hard. We want to make sure that people are watching them, that we can take care of each other, and that we can do even better at stabilizing our folks, making sure they get over this and get home, uh, even better than we've done thus far. Uh, the racial breakdown on deaths, 96.43% non-Hispanic, 3.57% Hispanic. And then on race, 82.15% white, 13.92% black, 2.53% multiracial, and 1.39% Asian. Long-term care. Uh, again, you always have good news and tough news. The good news is only four new residents. The tough news is 20 new staff. Total deaths, five new residents there. Those are from previous reports, but now attributable to long-term care.